you cannot catch me. <laughs> ah, you two cannot catch me. You won't see me. Richard, 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 you can't see me. Bye. Ah! <laughs> I caught you. I caught you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Hmm? Can you see me properly now? Eh, look at me. Yeah, I caught you. I caught you. I caught you. I told you you won't find me. <laughs> ah, Richie, baby. Okay, look, look, look. Just sit here. Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's your car. Okay? Be playing with it. Mommy is coming, okay? Mm? Don't move. Look at me. Mm? Don't move. Has he gone to? Richard! Richie, mommy is here. Where are you? <laughs> Richard! Richie! Richard! Mommy is here! Richard! 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 Richard, look, mommy is here! Richie, where are you? Richard, mommy is here! Richard! Richard! Richard!
see you again. Vivi, you met as well. All right, come and join us. Thank you, Ma. Oh. <laughs> He's upstairs in his room. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. <laughs> Larry. Mm. Larry. Oh, hey. You were so unbelievable. <laughs> hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Well, get your hands off me. What? Relax. Is there anything in your life that means something to you? Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. What? You, babe, you mean everything to me, okay? Come here. Stop it. Babe, you wouldn't even kiss me good morning. You're so impossible. Babe, what, what are you doing? This is, uh, babe, don't go. I can't even sleep if you go. You're breaking my... Oh, baby, how am I supposed to sleep now? I've lost my sleeping appetite. Yes, come in. Hey. How are you? Wow, you look amazing. Thank you. What? I wish I can say the same for your brother. I guess he's still in bed snoring, right? Let me help you with that. Thank you. How come your brother is nothing like you? He's clumsy, carefree, and unserious. Although, he's super cute when he's not being an asshole. <sighs> Perfect. You're just the best. Uh, let's go, boss. <laughs> okay. Okay, we don't have much time. <sighs> oh, sweetheart. Come here. You look super cute. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please join us. No, 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 no. Um, um, I'm not hungry. Today's a very big day for me, so uh, I'm kind of on the edge. My son, never mind. I am certain that you're going to make us proud like you've always done. Thank you, Dad. Thank you very much. My life go better if you with me forever. If you don't live with Jamaica, Vivi Cheta, my yellow queen. Mm, what's happening? Oh, I see what's going on. Toast. Nice. Larry, what is this? Yes, we should. Taking a break. Oh, uh, mom, dad. 
See mm. you guys later. Bye. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, bro. Get the pizza on your way back, okay? The Italian one. Bro, you get paid millions. Just get pizza, okay? This guy gets paid millions. Can't even get pizza. Hey! You're grown. His hand is like this. So give money, yeah, this guy. Don't give money. What's up, mommy? How you doing? What is wrong with you? I'm hungry. That's the only thing I'm Just shut up. Your father is going to be mad at you. What is your problem? You should have gone with your brother. Oh, jeez. Come on, today is a big day for every one of us in this family. Our company is launching a new factory today. The media will be there. Come on, you should have gone with that kid. Oh, oh Jesus, can I eat breakfast in peace? Is it possible? I'm about to choke. You won't even let me eat. I, oh, you want me to choke on this bread? Can I eat breakfast in peace in my own house? What's up now, mom? You know when you're angry, you look cute. I won't even lie. Seriously, look at that necklace. It's fleeking. It's on fleek, baby. It's blinging. Are you like a rapper? You look like a female rapper. Like Cardi B. One more word from you. Mommy B. I'm going to hit you. Hit me with that love. Oh, God. <laughs> I know you can't hit me. You love me too much, mom. Magic words. Crazy. Mom, you're not loving. So Mommy B. People should have added sausage to this food, though. It's just like bread and juice and egg that's cold. I don't understand, though. People fell hand. Who made this one today? They fell hand small, though. At least sausage, bacon, you know, English breakfast. Anyway. Well, my father founded Qtex as a small enterprise. But uh, I can comfortably tell you that we have grown to become a successful, large, it has been a very wonderful and interesting experience with a lot of stuff. Oh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, Richard. Richie. I will comfortably tell you that every single one. Richie. Strategically, You don't want to go to school. Why? Oh, look at me. Look. Are you scared of something or someone? Who? Mm -mm. Huh? Your hand. Okay, let me see. Is it here? Hmm? What happened to your hand? No, Richard, look, you have to go to school, okay? Yeah. Hmm? So you go to school today, right? Yeah. That's my boy. I asked my for mommy. manufacturing top and high quality local products for the benefit and betterment of our country. You see, um, what we do is amazing and it's something we're very proud of. You know, creating job opportunities and producing top quality local products just for the favor of our country and our industry. Wow, that's a big word. Yeah. Um, Mr. Aki, can I ask you, how has it been being the president of this big company? Challenging. Um, Richie. and watching over every single step I take to make sure that it is quite successful.
Are you not going to take that call? I had a long day. The last thing I need now is some Larry's drama. V, it's possible he's calling to apologize for what he did this morning. Well, it's too late for that. I think you need to take Monday off. No. Yes. Listen, you need to get some rest. Hmm? You need to visit the spa, get a massage, get a woman treatment. Feel like a real hard-working woman, right? Don't worry, Q-Tex is not going to go down just because you don't come to work in a day. <laughs> Aki, okay, thank you so much. Just a song. yeah. I hear the whispers. I hear my name. Someone is calling. Good evening, Dad. Wow, my son. That was brilliant. Thank you. I saw your TV. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I made you proud, right? Of course you did. Ah. As always, you know. Ah. <laughs> As you can see, I've been waiting for us to celebrate. Oh, awesome. Sure. <laughs> Ooh. Good success, yes. Can I serve? Oh, go ahead, my son. Ah. <laughs> This is great success. Yes. Great, great, great. Yes. Oh, you're so wonderful. Ah, ah. Ah. Uh, so wonderful. Look at them. <laughs> oh, good evening, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. So, what is the celebration all about? This is Father and Son's victory. I see. Yes. As you can see, uh, my son has made us proud again. Mm. He is definitely the most eligible bachelor in town right now. Ah. <laughs> Akeem. Thank you, Dad. So, more success. And prosperity. <laughs> hmm. This is good. Mom, I should get you a glass. Let me get you a glass. Where is your brother? I don't know. I'm just coming back home. Well, I'm sure he's wasting away somewhere. <sighs> what a night, man. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. Congratulations once again, Akeem. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. 
I will. I'll call Vivian. Okay. It's good to be successful, you know. Who's there? Come in. Come in. Mom. You're still awake. Are you okay? I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried about your brother. Mom, Mom, Larry's fine. Hmm? Larry is probably hanging out with his friends. So, just go to bed. You know your brother doesn't keep late nights. You know that. Vivian said he did not come to her place. Mom, can you just stop worrying about Larry? You, you get yourself worked up all the time. Probably because you don't even know who Larry is. He does not give a damn about anybody. Don't be dismissive about my worries. Mom, Mom please. Can you just please stop? I 
I mean, I'm worried about you and your health. Aki, I need you to help your brother, that's all. Nara is confused and overwhelmed with a lot of things. Please, I need you to look out for your brother. Mom Larry is not a kid. You should stop treating him like a kid. He is not a kid anymore. You can't keep babysitting him. You should stop. Son, please. All I'm saying is for you to look out for your brother. That's all. You know how your father feels about him. Your father thinks he's a loser. But you know he's not, right? He's just different. He is your brother. He taught you how to ride a bicycle. <laughs> Remember? Hmm? And the truth of the matter is, there comes a time in everyone's life when you get confused about a whole lot of things and you find it difficult to know the right thing and to follow the right path. As your mother, all I'm asking is please, can you look out for your brother? You must promise me you have to go to bed. I love you. So when you go to bed, Larry will be fine. Right? I caught But you have something to say? Huh? Quite an earful. But I'll save you the touch. Listen to me, Larry. I know mother loves you so much, and because of that, she feels you weak. Now she thinks that you need to be babysitted, right? Let me tell you something. She's not just your mother. 
I care about her too. You get me? And let me warn you, right? I don't care about whatever problem you have in your life right now because your problem is your problem. But please, never you ever again keep my mother awake worrying about you. Do you understand me? First of all, you have some balls on you. Not as big as mine, obviously, but you have some cojones on you. To so stand in front of me and, and, and spit on my face. I didn't hear a word you were saying. I was just feeling spit touching my skin. It felt horrible. You're doing all this for a woman you don't even care about. I do care about her. Well, you don't care about I do care about her. don't care about her and stop shouting. You're making a fool of yourself. Okay? You don't care about her. All you care about is dad. I mean, in his good books. You want the company. We all know. I can see from a mile away. It's so obvious. Okay? You're trying to be the responsible kid. You go to work every day. You go to church. You do all that. You know, oh, he's fit to take over the company. Oh, yeah, Dad, thank you so much. You've always been the one I thought. Oh, that's, come on, man, that's corny. Okay, you don't care about her. You've always cared about the company and the clout and the money since we were kids. That's all you've ever cared about. And I'm be shouting in my face, boy. Larry. Larry, I don't care about what you think about me. But I'm going to tell you this right now. If anything happens to my mother because of your silly, impulsive attitude, I swear you will have me to contend with. Let this be a warning, not a threat. Take that to be a warning, not a threat. Sounds like movies. Bro, you're a dumbass. You are really stupid. You're banging the door in your own house. Dumbass. Dummy. This is, a, this is a threat, not a promise. This is a promise, not a threat. Who wrote that? Dumbass. Come in.
Your mother called me last night. Where were you? In a brothel, doing a ten song. Lanry. I was trying to break a record. You really need to stop acting up, right? You know, sometimes I wonder if you really love me or if you're just stuck with me because you work for the company. How can you even say that? You know, you can really break up with me. You don't have to be with me. They don't care if you're with me. You still have your job. You still have it, okay? I think it's called job security or something like that. I'm not sure. You are so unbelievable. <laughs> you know what, Larry? Everything isn't always going to be about you. Some of us have our careers, ambitions that we are pursuing. It's not my fault that you're feeble-minded and you have refused to see beyond these walls. But trust me, I will not let you bond on my world with your little firecrackers. Hello, good morning, ma. Welcome to Cute Text. How may I help you? Uh, I want to see the person in charge. I'm sorry, ma. Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. But I need to see the person. It's very important. Please. I'm sorry, ma. You need to get an appointment first. I understand, but uh, that can wait. Appointment can wait. Tell him I want to see him. Oh, please help me. I'm sorry, Ma. Company's rules. Why don't you tell me your name and purpose for meeting? Let me see if I can schedule an appointment for you. Ene, tell him my name is Ene, but I don't think he will remember that name, Ene, but he will recognize me once he sees me. Please. I'm sorry, Ma. You can't see the boss without an appointment. I can, I can wait. Eh? Let me wait. I can wait till the end of the day. No, Ma. Let me just wait. I will wait. I'll wait till the closing hour. No, ma, you can't. Let me sit here and wait. see him now. Ma, I told you, you can't see him without an appointment. I want the first to call the security to work you out. Just tell him, Ene, he will agree to see me now. Ma, I need more than that. What do you want to see him? Let's hope he gets to see you. You won't understand. I, I, I just wish you understand why I want to see him. Ma, please, I have other things to do. I did like to get back to them.
So, um, considering this quotation here, okay. I think we need to up the total. I think we need to up the total, uh, then we probably... Excuse me, okay. it's Larry. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Hey, babe. Hey. What? Yeah, let me talk, eh? I'm at work. Uh, yeah, I could pick you up after work, though. Um, do you know what? Um, I'm in the middle of something. I'll call <coughs> you later. <coughs> babe, we need to talk, okay? Like, it's, you know, it's Fine. Right. Is everything okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. You see, <clears throat> Viv, I am. Um, I observed that your car is not at the car. Oh, yes. It's in the mechanic. Oh. <laughs> that means I could actually drop you at home after work. <laughs> Thank you so much, Akin. Larry is on his way here. Oh, he, he is? Yes. That's interesting. <clears throat> um, okay, I should get back to work. Oh, yeah. We could conclude this later. Yeah, later. Fine. All right. Look, are you okay? You know, I was thinking, right, we should go on vacation, right? We should go on, like, an exclusive island, just you and I. You know, those islands with the clear waters, you know. We leave the phones, we leave the laptops, we leave the work behind. Just you and I, you know, we have fun, right? But what? <laughs> Life is not all too serious. You're being too serious. You're yeah, right. Yeah. Coming from someone that can take as much rest as he wants. Babe, come on, I'm not talking about I'm talking about taking time off work. I'm not talking about doing more work. I'm talking about taking time Larry, off work. There is no time off work. Maybe you don't understand. I am the PR of QTEX. We just acquired some major investments. The whole world is watching us. Uh. This is not the time for some jungle monkey adventure. And I think it's high time you drop this your big baby attitude and put up some grown-up pants and come work in your father's company. I don't I don't get it. I don't understand why you're talking about vacation at this time of the year. Really? Aki needs you. He might not want to say it, but he needs you. Please. Oh, I, I understand that you can do your stuff, but just try. Try and work in your father's company. Why is it so hard for you? Why can't you understand? What the hell, Landry? You know what? Uh, why don't you just take a walk? If you're tired of me and you're so frustrated with my actions, why don't you just take a walk? Why don't you just leave? Babe, we had this conversation a million times ago. You said you were okay if I didn't work in my father's company. Why are you changing tone now? Why, why, why do you feel... You sound like you're not okay if I don't work in the company. You sound like you want me to work in the company. What changed? What happened? I don't know. It seems your mom and I are indulging you too much. Hey, baby. <laughs> baby, I love you and I want you to do better. I am doing, babe, I am doing better. You're talking like I, like I don't have a job or something. I have a job, okay? I'm an IT consultant. I develop softwares for people. And I'm doing well. I'm doing well for myself. I'm doing okay. I'm making money for yeah, me. They're you're paying right. for it. Yeah. You'd rather end peanuts working on software and beating them online. Instead of helping to build an empire. Yes! What's wrong with that? Yes, I would rather do that. You know what? Sometimes I feel like I'm so out of place. I feel like I don't even belong here. Hey, no, baby. We want you to do better. We love you. Babe, and... why don't you just trust me? Babe, why don't you just trust me? Babe, can you trust me? Can you please trust me? And not judge me like the rest of them? Is it possible? 
please. I know it's difficult for you, but please. Hmm? Let me call you back. You again? Yes, me. Why are you here? Same reason I was here the other day. And this time, I am not leaving this place without seeing the person in charge. But Ma, I told you, you can't see him without... He will see me. But Ma, I said he will see me. He will see me. Ma, this is an office place. Please, can you stop yelling? I am not leaving this place until I see him. And please, don't tell me what to do. I will see him. Else, I will scream and everybody will come out. Ma, please. Stop yelling or else I'll be forced to call the security to I escort you. I don't care what you want to do to me. All I'm saying is that I need to see him. Sir. Yes. The lady. She said she wants to see you without an appointment and she's making a scene here. By the way, who are you? The boy. The boy. The boy with the bet mark. Ma, you said you want to see the person in charge. Here is he. This is not the person I want to see. The person I want to see is young and tall. He has a, a bet mark at the back of his right hand. Like patches. Dark. Dark patches. Why do you want to see him? I have something I need to tell him. I need to tell him the truth. What? I'm afraid you cannot see him. Because he's in a meeting right now. Okay? But I'm his father. You can tell me what the matter is. How are you his father? What book do you have? You took him away from me. Mata, what are you talking about? I... He was three. And... We were playing outside. He was... He was there in one minute. And the next... He was gone. I was with him. Richard! Richie! Richie! I... I saw him. I saw him on... on the television. I saw him. Security! Security! No! I'm not leaving this place until I see him. Richard! His name is Richard. Please. Security, take this woman out of these premises. This minute. Please, Mark, can you kindly exit the building? No! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Take her away! Leave me alone! Let me! I am not going anywhere. I want to see him. I demand to see him. Don't touch me. And security. Me Make sure she does not enter this building again. Leave me alone. I want to see Richard. I want to see Richard.
you were looking beautiful in your sleep. Ah. Shh. <laughs> You're I back. Mean, I didn't mean to wake you up. But I was not sleeping. Oh. I've been thinking lately. Don't tell me it's about Larry again. Look, you have to take care of yourself. Your health. It means a lot to us, please. It's not about Larry. Akin, our son. What about Akin? He has never brought a woman home before. I see. Haki has more important things to do than to go scouting for some lady. That's the problem. That is the problem. I want both of my sons to get married. I mean, I can't wait to carry my little grandchildren. I remembered when they were little, very tiny, Aki and Larry. Believe me, sweetheart. I want both of my sons to be happy. They are happy. Okay? Our sons are happy. And you have vision. That's if Larry does the right thing. Oh, come on. Larry will do the right thing. <sighs> oh, sweetheart. Give that boy a break, will you? Sure. Larry is my son. And I love him. But I will not reward laziness or indulge his impulsive and careless acts. I will not. But he has a good heart. Okay. Let's hope that puts food on his table. Sweetheart. My darling. Can I love you? I love you much more. Hey, um, did I wake you up? Oh, I, I, um, I was actually wondering if I could, um, I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 sorry, have you, have you, have you spoken to Larry? Oh no, <laughs> no, no, not really. Um, I, I, I actually wanted to let you know that the, um, the the media company sent in some clips of the interview. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm just. But I, I hope you're fine though. Sorry, is Larry there? Sweetheart. Good morning, Pop. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Please sit, sit on me. Yeah. Oh, 
Vivi. Please join us. Join us for breakfast. Thank you. Excuse me. You are excused. Beautiful. Look how beautiful she is. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, darling. Where's my good morning? The whole me. The disrespect. Can you believe this guy? Where's my good morning? Good morning, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it, sir. You know, it's needed. You don't like trouble. I don't like trouble. I like respect, mom. Respect. Respect mm. indeed. Okay. Yeah? Please check your phone. Check my phone, why? Uh, check your phone's Instagram. What's, What's happening on Instagram? There's a woman claiming to be Akin's real mother. <laughs> <laughs> come on. That's funny. You have a new mom. Oh, come on, stop. <laughs> I always, yeah, because we don't look alike. Like, you know, so I always thought, we don't look alike. We don't. I look more like mom and dad. I look more than. Come on, I look like. Dad. No, no. Look at yourself. Carbon copy tall. of dad. Look no, no, no. You are just too tall. When it's the combination of the height. No, no. How could you say that? It's the combination of. Look at. Okay, look at your I'm skin sure color. color. Look at your skin color. Oh, come on. I'm fair. You're dark, bro. Look at that. He's dark around these parts. Stop it. <laughs> I'm wearing masks. Stop it. You yourself. Can you laugh? I'm disappointed. Peter, this is serious. Ma this is serious. Now this is really serious. Joseph. Please, please, Teddy. Can't you see? This is absurd. Yes, it is. I'm sure it's just a woman seeking attention. Look, don't forget, Aki made headlines a few days ago when he launched the new factory. So anyone could come up with a cheap story like this. <laughs> Richard. She said her son's name is Richard. I'm just calling him his name. Would you please, would you just please stop? No, you always look like a Richard. Would me. you just please stop? This is, I, this makes so much sense. No one. <laughs> Sorry. Joseph. Oh, please tell me. Ah, calm down. This is mere propaganda. And I'm sure it's business related. You know. Rivals, all working hard to undermine our son's hard work. Ah. I remember that woman. Yes. I saw her begging for arms at the office the other day. You did? Yes. You should be able to handle this. I'm on it, sir. I have called the blog to take it down immediately before it spreads further. What if they refuse? No, that's money. They get paid to post them. No, they won't. It's not verified yet. Mm. To avoid legal battle, they will have to take it down. Hey, 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 guys, 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 guys. There is nothing to verify here. There is absolutely nothing to verify here because they do not have any facts. Come on. The question is, why would someone like that, that riffraff, why would someone like that want to... Make a scandal of my name. Which of your names? Richard or Ake? Larry, will you just please stop? I'm very serious right now. Why would someone want to make a propaganda of me? What, what sort of nonsense is this? It's cheap propaganda. It is. Listen, I do not want to see any of those vultures that call themselves reporters around me. Do you understand me? I need you to come down. Mom, there's nothing to come down. No. There's nothing to come down. Relax. So you fix this thing. That's the loudest he's gone in like two weeks. Can you just shut up? What do you mean? Look in the mirror. I ask myself, who is the man on the Put something That was loud. That, Mom, I'm not eating this thing. This is bread and butter. How can I eat bread and Mom, butter please, with tea? Me, in, with this nice plate. Yes. It's disrespectful to the plate. I can't even... Uh, where's the bacon now? Where's the bacon? Where's the sausage? Where's the... All that omelette? All that flex? Can you go to the kitchen? Can you please tell me where I can find the road to where I truly belong? What do you think? You just told me that there's a woman online ranting that she's my mother. How am I supposed to be okay? I know how annoying this is. But I promise you I'll fix it, okay? I'm sure she's just seeking attention. How can she be seeking attention with me? How can that woman be my mother? How possible is that? What's she trying to say to the whole world that I'm adopted? See? You see how ridiculous this is? I mean, can she say you are her son? 
and she claimed you went missing when you were only three. So makes sense. Mom, look at what she made me do. Like she made me scream at everybody, including you. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm confused. I. I just do not want to be caught up in, in this whole web that is messed. It's okay. This is my job, okay? I promise you I will fix this. Trust me. It's okay, it's okay. Relax, it's okay. It's okay, Aki. Trust me, I'm going to fix this. I will. I am really, really sorry for everything that happened downstairs. I don't know what came over me, but I really appreciate how much you care about me. How much you try to help me. I'm grateful. Ah, uh, it's bacon in the kitchen. Oh, yes. There's no bacon in the kitchen. See this guy, Seth. He almost broke the chair. See, I'm the good child, you know? That's why it's a lot of weight being the good child. Beware, much. Beware, much. All right, Dad. See you later. See you later, Dad. Take care. Love everybody on the table. Joseph. Uh, why are you looking at me? What is it? Oh, wait, Tell me much. Not, what is it? You? Oh, you believe that too? I don't know what my life will be without you. Who is the man on the other side? Oh Lord, please help me believe in a lie. <sighs> No. Oh. Um, I was... No, 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 Mary, stop! Stop it! Are you mad? Larry, How dare you put your hands on my woman? Stop, stop, huh? stop. How dare you? Larry, please, please. No, 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 stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Larry, stop it! Stop, can you stop? Stop it, it's not what you think! It's not what I think, what do you mean it's not what I think? What am I supposed to think? So this is why you got a working relationship, huh? You took that turn to her! You're really having a working relationship and your home relationship, Abby. Larry, this is simply a misunderstanding. You're just overreacting. Oh, I'm overreacting. Huh? You pretend to love me and you scheme and you connive and you slip your way to, 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 to the bigger bank account. That's what this is about, right? You want the bigger bank account? How do you speak huh? to me like that? What do you mean? No, 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 hold it. I mean, it's okay. You want to suck and slip your way to a bigger bank account. What? Oh my God. I'm I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Larry. I'm, I'm sorry, eh? Larry! Larry! Larry, I'm sorry! Larry! Oh, my leg! Larry, I'm sorry! Larry! 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 Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ. It's not what you think. Aki. Oh. Mom, I'm in the bathroom. Are you alright? Yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, I am. Please, where's Vivian? 
she left. Both of them seemed very angry. I hope they didn't fight. Um, I, I, I don't know. Mom, I, I, can I talk to you later, please? Sure. I'll be down, downstairs. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Has Vivian resumed work this morning? No, sir. Three million naira, Mrs. N. A. Charles. Number twelve, Ebeka Street, off Tudumwada Crescent, Abaji. What do you want? Steve, how are you? You have the ghost to ask me that. Say, I don't know what came over me. Seriously, I, I didn't mean to cause problems between you two. I'm so sorry. I was just, I was just confused. Listen, I'm really sorry. It's fine, okay. Does that mean you've forgiven me? Don't you ever do that again. Larry and I are together. I love him so much. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Good. That means I'll be seeing you around, right? Well, keep me updated with the mystery woman. Of course. Why have you come here? Well, I'll just go straight to the point. 
My boss has been kind enough to offer you three million so that you can stop whatever you're doing. You're just going to ruin the young man's life. Here. I'm shocked this is coming from a woman like me. You think I want your money? Your boss or whatever he is thinks I'm after his money? Then what do you want? My son! I want my son back to me. I have... I have waited for 27 years. The police gave up on me. Everybody gave up on me. What do you know, little girl? What do you know? Do you know the pains of motherhood? Have you ever lost a child? Have you ever been married before? Have you, what do you know? <laughs> Having to, to live the rest of your life without knowing where your son might be? Get out. I am sure you might need Get this. Get out.
Richard. How's your health? Oh, uh, he's, it's nothing serious. I will get you water. Thank you, I'm fine. Son. Why do you always call me Richard? My name is Aki. No. Your name is Richard. You are my son. You were only three when that... Hold on. These are the pictures. Just... Take a look at the pictures. Go on. Take a look. Take a look and see for yourself. Go on. Go on. Look at it. It's just... Listen, excuse me, madam. Anybody can do this. It's called photoshopping. I don't know why you're doing what you're doing, but you have to stop before you ruin my career and my life. Ruin your life? I am not lying. Just flip through. You just go on and look for, look at it yourself. You, you might remember some pictures. Just go on. Richard. You are my son. Listen, son. A mother knows her true son. She knows her son when she sees him. You are my son. Those people... Son? Richard. I'm not! Stop calling me your son! Listen to me, woman. You have to stop this entire charade. Do you understand me? I have a father, I have a mother, and I have a brother! And you? You have to stay. Stay away. Richard, the bed mark. You have a similar bed mark on your back. They stole you from me. Richard. They gave you a new identity. You are, you are my Richard. You are my son. Stop! The bed, I hear the whispers, I hear my name. Someone is calling, going insane. Heartbeat so loud that I can feel the pain. There's more to this, is it's not just a game. I need some answers, I need a clue. Lost in the puzzle and feeling confused. Someone in heaven and down on my knees Come to my rescue, I'm begging you please Stuck in the middle, am I just leaving somebody else's life? I need to find myself, some way, somehow
king. Our king. Open the door for me, please. Please. I need you to open this door. I want us to talk, please. I don't want to talk to anybody! understand how you feel after seeing your picture online today. But I assure you that you are my son. Then how did that woman get hold of my three-year-old picture and even younger? You want to see her? Oh, okay, okay. Stop doing this to yourself. Stop! Look, I need not tell you how easy it is for people to photoshop pictures these days. Father, what does she have to gain? What exactly would she gain if she does that? It is obvious. Money. She wants money. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. Then why did she reject the money you offered her through Vivian? How did you know about that? Okay. Uh, never mind. It really does not matter what her intentions are. Doesn't matter. But just know that you are my flesh and blood. Okay? Okay. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing. Believe me. I said, I will handle it, and I will. Oh, yes, I will. Just trust me. Trust. That's all I need. Huh? <laughs> That's my boy. Job, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was son of your father. You're your father's son. You are your father's son. Believe it. <sighs> we get someone to tidy up this place. Mm. 
This is nice, you know. I've been a little bit more pepper, but it hits kind of. Trust your mother. No, yeah, no, of course. Mm. So, Larry, what, is that? what about the app you said you were developing? Any progress? Mm, mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, just, um, I've been working on it, you know, putting in work, you know, so it has to be top notch when it comes out, you know, so I'm just putting in a lot of work. So <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Same old story. <laughs> and I've been thinking, right? What if there's an atom of truth in what that lady said? What's her name? I can't remember her name, but what she's saying. You could actually be adopted, bro. You could be an outsider. What nonsense are you talking about? Oh, come on, Dad. I'm just saying, you know, it's possible. No, keep quiet. Dad, I'm just, I'm just talking. Get your about... food and go, or you get out. Huh? Okay, get out. Out. Oh, Joseph, please. Not now, Teddy. Leave this table right yeah, now. Man, I'm going to... Food is not... There's no pepper in your food, sir. Well, why would I want to eat this rubbish? Uh, Larry, wait. Wait for what? You don't call your mother's food rubbish. Oh, you told them what to do and they did it now. If you cooked it yourself, it would have been better than this, sir. I'm told that I should go toss some of that rubbish. Uh. You see? Yeah, it's a picture. But yourself, come on. Give him a little break. Excuse me. What's she doing here? I asked them to come. But don't you think you should have informed me first? Well, Joseph, I, I didn't think it was necessary, you know, because you have offered her money and it didn't work out. So, who are you? Aki, go to your room. Oh, no. Aki stays. I ask you again, woman. Who the hell are you? I'm his mother. Huh? Oh. What is she talking about? I have proof. We can, we can go for the NHS and I will prove to you that he's my son. Take a look at the speeches. You know you are not his mother. Please, just tell him the truth. These are his childhood pictures. Look at them very well. He, he has this uh, same, a similar birthmark on his back. He, he's in the habit of scratching his eyebrows anytime he's nervous. He's my son. How can I have these pictures? Where did I get them from? How is it even possible? His name is Richard. He... He went missing when he was three years. And... He's my son. You are a woman like me. How will you feel if your child gets beaten and you never get to see him again? How will you feel? Look at me. I am sick. I am dying. Sir, I just have a few months to leave. All I want to know just is my, my son. Told 
him. Seen him. I want to hold my son just this one last time. asking for too much. Am I? That's enough. Enough of this madness. Get this woman out of here. No, no. I can't worse. I know my son. I know my son when I see him. I know my son. He's my son. Richard. He's my son. Akin was just three years old. When he was brought to my home. But even at that, there's no truth in what you just said. Because his parents are dead. No! No! I'm his mother! He's my son! I'm not lying, please! <sighs> Again? This day was inevitable. Eddie, our Akin got to find out that he was adopted. What? Charles? You see now, it's Charles. Who is Charles again? Who is Charles? I told you all that this woman is brain sick. She is crazy. Look, get her out of here. Akin. Akin was just three years old when they brought him to our house. And we fell in love with him immediately because he was too smart. He was so intelligent. Then our Larry was just two. He got himself a big brother in a king. I'm sorry, a king. You're adopted, bro. Charles. Look, 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 look Charles, here. Yeah, look, get this woman out of here. Mm. Take her out. Please, man. Take her out. Please, Charles. Thanks, Go! Chas. Chas. That's, that's Chas. Chas. Go see your daughter. Go stop crying. Out, out of here. Joseph. But you're adopted. Don't cry now. Why are you crying? Oh, shut up, Larry. What do you mean, shut up? I didn't do anything now. Why is everyone shouting at me today? What did I do? I didn't do anything now. I'll tell you to stop crying now. It's not like, you know. Ah. What did I do? Excuse me. Just going to watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Okay. Uh, just going to eat the chicken. Super oh, get out! Are you serious, Mom? This is a very sensitive moment for me right now. I feel insecure and I'm, I'm, my ego is all over the place. I'm insensitive because of this news. You should take it easy with me, okay? You should tell us to put more pepper, Mom. Jesus, he's really crying. Man. Easy, 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 easy. Don't worry, bro. It's okay to be an outsider. It's okay. Stop worrying. Oh my god, it's just boom. But where does he put more pepper? Eh? More pepper. I don't know if you can hear, hear me over this guy crying, Shay. No, stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. You're so family. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> I do 
not want to talk to any of you. Please. Come on, son. Mom, please. I have had too much. I don't want to hear anymore. Please. Okay. You are my dad. Was I stolen? No. No, 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 no. You were not stolen. Sweetheart, tell him we didn't steal him. Baby, your parents had an accident. And Joseph found you and brought you to me. And I fell in love with you immediately. I saw you. You are my son. Please. This is unbelievable. How could you, after all these years, how could you? How could you not tell me that I'm your biological son? How could you? Why did you lie to me? I didn't. Please. You, you lied to me. Okay. Please. Okay. I, I, I know this is hard for you to comprehend, considering everything that is going on. But please believe me. You are my son. This is your home. The company is yours. It is our company. Please. Please. I want to be left alone. Oh no, son. Mom, please. Please! please! Hey, how you feeling? Doing good? Hmm? Have you come to mock me? No, I've come to know how you're doing. Obviously now you know I'm not your brother. I'm not even a part of this family. That's what you've always wanted, right? So right now, you don't have to compete with me anymore for your parents' love. I never competed with you, okay? That was enough. what I was. Never competed with you. I actually always looked up to you. Well, I'm taller, so it's kind of looking down, but you get what I'm trying to say. 
kind of looked up to you as a older brother, you know, that kind of thing. Listen, that doesn't matter anymore because I don't think I'm that old. If what that woman said is true, then we're of same age. Uh, I wouldn't believe anything that woman says, honestly, you know. I don't know what's going on, but I do know that you're my bro and that's never changing, okay? That's what it is. So, uh, don't feel too down. But when it comes to willing, though, you know, different vibes. Get out of <laughs> Get out of my room, hey, Don't be too down, bro. Thanks. <laughs> <sighs> Now, what are you doing here? Take a look. This is my husband. His name was Charles. What? Who is this? Mom, what should you do here? What's this? Who's this? My Enough! Enough of your nonsense. Now this is the part where you leave my house. And now. Get out! Please. Please listen to me. Get out! Listen. I am confused as well. But... Richard is my Shut up! I, I, I don't know. You are a confused woman. Now get out. Out! Now get out! Out! In my house! Get lost! <gasps> listen, listen. Don't even don't even listen to all her nonsense. Larry, you know, that woman out there is mad. She's crazy. She's insane. That woman is a lunatic. This is nonsense. This is bullshit. Listen, Larry, this is nonsense. I rebuke this. I rebuke her, she's an agent of darkness! Larry? 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 Jesus! Jesus! Sorry, sorry, are you okay? Do I look okay to you? Do I look okay to you? That mad woman returned. Of course, what were you expecting? You let her in the first time. Yes, it's your fault. Is that all you have to say? You know, this time, she feels that. Our Larry is a reincarnation of a late husband. Can you imagine that? She came here with a look-alike picture of her late husband. Do you know that woman wants to take our boys away from us? Can you beat that? That woman is insane. She's a mad woman. She's a lunatic. She's absolutely mad. I will not be alive to watch that woman take my sons away from me. That will be over my dead body. Are you listening, Joseph? Joseph, can you hear me out? 
All of a sudden, she just came a bomb from nowhere. That is bullshit. I will not take that from her. She's asleep, okay? Please. Please. <laughs> Imagine. Hey, Vivi. What's up, Larry? Uh, I need a favor from you. You think you could help me out with something? Yeah, sure. Why not? What's up? You come in. Uh, why did you call me Charles? Because you look exactly like him at this age. He looks just like me. He's my late husband. Okay, what's going on? What's I don't understand. What's what's happening? I'm confused as well. My Richie is my son. You. I don't know. My little husband never had an affair. He loved me so much. Her mother didn't have an affair. She's not that kind of woman, so. They are more confused than anyone. I am dying. I just, I just want to spend the last few months I have with my son. I don't want to disturb you guys. It's a mother dying wish that I spend that I. I hold my son this one last time. What are you thinking? We really look alike. Let's not eliminate the fact that there are doppelgangers. First it was Aki, and now you're some kind of reincarnation or what? I don't know what it is, but maybe there's some truth to what she's saying, you know? I mean, my parents think that Aki's parents died in a car accident. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe she's Aki's mother. So how does that explain the fact that you look exactly like her late husband? I don't know. That's the confusion, you know? I mean, if my parents could lie to Akin about something so important for so long and hide that from him, maybe they're hiding more stuff, you know? Maybe I'm not theirs. Larry. It's the truth. Your mom loves you. She loves Akin too, but she lied to him. She didn't lie to him. She lied to she him. She just didn't tell. It's a lie of omission. So what now? There's only one way to know the truth, okay? Now I need your help with that. Lamy, what are you going to do? No, 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 you're not going to do that. It will break Aki. He needs to know the truth, okay? And that woman in there, she deserves to know the truth as well. Uh, okay, fine. 
what if you're not your father's son? Um, uh, uh, what if your mom cheated? <sighs> Trust me, Larry, this is not going to end well. Some things are better left the way they are. That would explain a lot, you know? It would explain why my dad never loved me. Hey, come here. Hey, no, no, no. Sorry, I thought. Let's head home. Larry, I am sorry. I didn't know Aki had feelings for me. I'm so sorry. Can I come in? Sure, sure, sure. <sighs> Sincerely, I don't even know what I'm doing here. But I know that we need to find a way to deal with this whole thing. Because I don't even know where we adopted or we reincarnated into this family. <laughs> well, at least you don't look like a dead man, so that's a good thing. Oh, come on. What if the dead man is my father? Hey, do you want to hang out? Huh? Have a few drinks, have some fun. Huh? I don't mind, man. Yes, we should hang out, bro. Let's go have fun. Let's all be sad all the time. We're doing it again, the bro thing. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Get your butt up. Let's get it. Come on, let's go. Man, I don't know. Let's go. Okay, okay. Why are you doing all this drama for? Let's go. I'm, I'm coming. I'm fine. <laughs> ah. See, uh, see, see. Wait, before we go. The people we're going to hang out with right now, they like fun. They like having fun. Happy, okay? Not being sad. So just be happy. That's what I'm saying. Larry, do you want me to come with you? All I'm saying is be happy. Let's go. Bro, come out and close the door before Mosquito will kill me. What do you want? Larry sent me. Hey, bro. Yeah, what's up? Um, I'm doing number two. Oh, no wonder this place smells like hell. <laughs> hey, can I borrow um the blue comb? What? The blue, the blue comb. Oh my god. Sorry, man. Can I borrow? Can I borrow this? <laughs> Okay, fine. All right, go, go, close the door, close the door. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, man.
Sweetie, if you continue like this, you're going to hurt yourself. Let's relocate. I mean, let's go to some other country. Let's live with our sons. Are you out of your mind? I am. Completely out of my mind. Oh, so Sweetheart, I'm mad as it is. No. Why would I not go out of my mind in the first place? There's some woman, a mystery woman out there, a complete lunatic. I mean, why should I not be mad as it is? That woman is with my children's picture. Now tell me, why will I not go mad? I am paranoid as we speak. Now listen, I need to protect my children. That is all that is in my mind. I need us to run away with my children. Please, please, I need to save my boys. Children, you have another children. You can't just take them away. You can't. But in my eyes, they are still my boys. And they will remember my... Listen, listen, Joseph. I need us to go far from this woman. I need to protect my boys. That is all that matters to me as we speak. Please, please sweetheart. No, 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 please. Please. Look, no one will take them away from you. No one, I assure you. Oh, come on, come on, sweetie. Oh, no. Please. It's okay. Trust me again. It's all right. It's okay. Look in the mirror, I ask myself Who is the man on the other side? Oh Lord, please help me been living a lie Am I just dreaming Wanna open my eyes Before you think I'm losing my mind Can you please tell me Where I can find The road to where I truly belong This is reality Not just a song oh. Hey, mom. Yes, baby. Uh, did you get any package delivered today? No. Nothing was delivered. What's in the package? Because I've not received anything. I hope there's no problem. No, no, no. There's no problem. It's just work related, you know. Oh, I see. All right, no problem. It's okay, sweetheart. Are you sure nobody delivered the package? Because I called them and said they've delivered it. No. Now, who must have taken it? Wait, have you asked your brother, Akin? What's in the package? I'll go ask him. I guess you're looking for this. Hey, give me that. I hope you didn't open that. <laughs> Why don't you just tell everyone what is inside this or do you plan to hide it forever okay what are you talking about what is it father your son here or let me say assumed son conducted a dna test without knowledge. larry why would you do a thing like that uh, we all know he wants to know if i'm truly the son of that crazy woman you can't wait to let me leave this house right Right? I thought we called a truce. I thought we agreed to let this whole thing lie and move on. Move on? How do you move on without knowing the truth? Huh? <laughs> well, you have a big surprise. Wait a minute. I 
guess dad and mom also has a lot of explanation to do to you. What is wrong with you, Akin? Well, it's time to know the truth. Wait, this, this can't be the report. Yes, it is. And the report states that you are... The... That you are my son. Oh yes, Dad, you know. Joseph, now what are you saying? Like he's my son. He's always been our son. Our biological son. You see, 27 years ago, a woman came to my office. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Can I help you? Sir, my name is Lola. Okay. I'm the midwife that gave birth to your child two years ago at Phoenix Hospital. Mm -hmm. September 18, 1993. Do you remember me, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a midwife. Sir, but how can I help you? Sir, I've been looking for you all this while. I even gone to your, your house. You told me that you have moved, sir. Yeah, we moved. But wait, is there a problem? There is a problem, sir. Honestly, I don't know how to tell you this. <sighs> sir, three years ago, I made a terrible mistake. I can't live with it anymore. And when I found out your wife and your child has been discharged, and since then, I don't know, I've been scared of telling you about it, sir. Scared of telling me? Yes, sir. Please, what did you do? I mean, what are you talking about? Sir. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Joseph! Well, you're not the one who told me that Akin's parents died in an accident and the Good Samaritan brought Akin to you. Now, what is all this? What is all this? Sweetie, when I found out that they were both switched at birth, at first, I was scared. I didn't know how to tell you that the boy that you had loved and raised for the past three years three good years was not your son. I, I, I couldn't look at you in the face and tell you that you're louder. Our lad is not our son. I carried out a DNA test and it turned out that the midwife was right. Larry's not our son. We took home another woman's child. Tell her. You have to believe me. I wanted to tell you, but you had complications after childbirth. Your heart was fragile, and the doctor said we shouldn't stress you. But then I wanted my child. My actual child, my flesh and blood. I, I, I couldn't let 
my own flesh and blood. Be brought up or raised in another man's house. So, I had to meet with the midwife again. So, where is my son now? I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? You made this mistake so you should know where the family was with my son, where they are. Listen, for what you did, I could have you arrested, locked up for good, because you don't seem to understand what this has cost me. You could destroy my family with what you did. You know that, right? I'm talking to you. Sir, Mr. and Mrs. Charles, sir, I tried to tell them that, but Mr. Charles died when the child was giving birth and they left only the poor woman. Sir, and I was so scared to tell her since then, sir. He left only the poor woman, sir. Sorry, sir. Do you know where she lives? Yes, I do. And you listen, and you listen very well. I want you to leave this town and never return. I don't want to see you near my home. I don't want to see you near my family. Because if I get to see you again, trust me, you won't live to regret it. Now get out. Oh, get out! <laughs> How could you? How could you take away a child from my mother? How could you steal an innocent child? Wow. Father, you actually kidnapped me. You made me feel like I'm older than Larry. How am I even sure we're not twins? Aki, I have to bring you back home. This is where you belong. Why didn't you take me back to the woman? Why didn't you do that? But you were so selfish. You deprived her of her child just so you could be happy with two. I did what I thought was best for you. I gave you the best of everything. But your love. You would have ended up somewhere in the slam. Probably dead or in a gang. See, Larry. I gave you roof, education, the best of it. But you deprived me of my mother's love. You deprived a woman that did nothing to you. She didn't see her child forever. No! Joseph, this is nonsense! As far as I'm concerned, you all are not making sense! This is bullshit! I can't believe any of this! Mom, it's okay. Sweden, no! Please, just calm down first, please. Well, I did what I thought was good for the family. I couldn't have watched you suffer. I mean, it would have broken you. To just give him up just like that at that time. So what do you think she's going to go through now? Huh? Look, you're the villain in this story. You took a child away from his mother. And now you're taking a child away from a mother that has loved him his entire life. What kind of person are you? Larry, don't do this. Stop. Makes sense now why you never loved me. Makes a lot of sense. I'm sorry, Mom. No, 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 please, it's okay, it's okay. No, sweetheart. It's okay, it's okay, trust me, it's okay. I breastfed him, Joseph. This is nonsense. This is nonsense. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay.
Can I crush here for today? Mom? Um, well, I'm your Richard. Or you can say Charles Jr. Um, it's a long story, you know, but honestly, right now, all I want is my mother to hug me and tell me that everything is going to be okay. Please, is Larry here? Thank you. <laughs> Why are you crying? Wait, you were switched at birth too? Just like me? Why are you serious? What are the chances? Can you stop joking? I'm not. <laughs> Somebody has to light it up the wood here, you know? I have missed you so much. I've missed you so much. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I'm so sorry. It's okay, you know? At least now I know where I belong. <laughs> you really need to come back home. Please. Your mom is not taking this well. She might harm herself. She's always harm herself, okay? And I don't think I want to go back there, you know? I mean, I felt out of place for as long as I can remember. I don't want to go back. I'm not going hey. back. Hey, baby, listen to me. Your mother loves you so much. You need to see her. Else, you might not be able to forgive yourself if anything happens to her. Just one day and you try to harm yourself? Larry! How do you think I'm going to survive without you? Son! Yes, you came of back. Of course I came back. Well, you thought I wasn't going to? Of course. He came back. <sighs> Stop crying. Stop crying. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Thank God. Of course. Thanks. I needed some space, you know, to uh, to breathe, you know. Uh, but I'm back now. I'm back, right? So you can punish me, but you have to get out of bed to do that. I knew it. I knew it. I'm 
Sir. You would done. <laughs> what would you like to eat? I want to make you something. I want to, I want to prepare something for you. Please. Tell me, what would you like? No, 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 no. Huh? Please, please, please. I need you to stay with me. Please stay. Stay. Please. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let me go make breakfast. Let me go make. Let me go make breakfast. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, ma. Bro, you don't have to leave. We're brothers, you know that, right? Listen, I know we've not been best of friends, but I really care about you. Yeah, I know. And I care about you as well, you know? But there are people in this house that I can't share the same roof with, you know? So, I have to go. Take care of mom, okay? I will. All right. I will. All right. I miss you, man. Yeah, me too. You are your Wahala. <laughs> I like that the meat is big, you know, because meat enriches food. It makes it. No, oh, I can't go on like this. Okay, you already know the condition. There's no need to subject your mind to negativity. Okay. Please, for me at least. Can I ask you for a favor? Of course. What? Came to personally thank you for raising Larry to this age. Thank you so much. Any. Let me quickly use this opportunity to apologize also. I mean. No one deserves to go through what you've, you know, what you went through. I'm sorry. Every mother deserves to be with her children. Akihe is still your son. You gave him milk. A mother's woman when he needed it most. Thank you. And I'm sorry. Joseph here had no right whatsoever to take this boys away from you. So please. And uh, punish us. In fact, we deserve to go to jail for this. No, come on, mom. Yes, sweetheart. We wronged her. We are truly sorry. I'm sorry too, Larry. I... I am not here to punish anybody. I am here to take you for raising my sons. Raising Larry and Richard. I have just a few months to go. And when I'm gone, who 
Who is going to take care of them? I am not here to, to deny them of their parents' love. Would you please help me to take care of them when I'm gone? Thank you so much. Thank you for not joining Larry. Thank you. Thank you for raising my kid. Thank you so much. Mom, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for the way I spoke to you earlier. I forgive you no Kiko. I am sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgive you long ago. if I'm dying I will die a happy woman I've seen my sons <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so much it's okay it's okay <laughs> Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. I want to say that I was wrong. It was all my fault. But like my wife said, please feel free to punish us. In fact, feel free to punish me. I cost it all. But concerning your life, let me assure you that you will not die. The Almighty God in His infinite mercy will keep you alive. And your wonderful sons are for all of us. Thank you very much for your forgiving heart. Your long suffering, forbearance. I'd also like to apologize to my delectable wife, sweetie. I'm sorry, okay? And to my great sons, I say, I'm sorry. Madam, we love you. We love you. It is well. It is well. Thank you so much. It is well. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything. Thank you. Teddy, thank you so much. You are a wonderful mother. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. It's cool to be an outsider sometimes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you will learn about Larry. Larry talks too much. Just ignore him. <laughs> you know, he's... So loud that I can feel the pain 
just a game. I need some answers. I need a clue. Lost in the puzzle and feeling confused. Someone in heaven and down on my knees. Come to my rescue. I'm begging you, please. Stuck in the middle. Am I just leaving somebody?